What's for breakfast? Uh, it's a question everyone seems to ask me. And, you know, there does seem to be some uh, pushback when I say, well, you might want to have a three egg omelet with some kale and olive oil. And people often say, well, you know what? I'm going to just have some oats, oatmeal. It's, uh, it's really wonderful. It's steel cut and it's obviously gluten free. Is it really? Let's have a look. This is a study from the well-respected New England Journal of Medicine that looked at gluten contamination in oat products here in America. They looked at three brands of oats and to be considered gluten-free, a product must contain less than 20 parts per million of uh, gluten. They looked at three brands of oats. The first was milled in an oats-only facility, meaning they didn't mill uh, potential gluten-containing things like wheat. The next brand, Country Choice, is organic. And the third brand, Quaker Oats, is uh, obviously one of the most popular brands here in America. And here's what they found. In the brand that you would expect to be gluten-free, well, two of the four specimens actually did contain gluten. Uh, in the organic variety, three of the four specimens actually contain gluten and significant amounts of gluten. And in Quaker Oats, according to the New England Journal of Medicine, significant contamination with gluten, really, really high values of gluten. 75% of the samples in this study were not uh, gluten-free. So the notion that eating oatmeal is a good idea because it's a gluten-free choice for breakfast really doesn't make a lot of sense because chances are you're going to be getting gluten in your breakfast. Beyond that, please understand that oatmeal, especially instant oatmeal, has a very high glycemic index, meaning it's going to significantly raise your blood sugar values, and that's not good for your brain. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter.